In the next 24 hours, I'm gonna be eating only Avengers themed food, and that includes breakfast, lunch, dinner, and yes, dessert. There's always room for dessert. That being themed after four of the most popular MCU heroes, that being Iron Man, Captain America, Hulk, and my personal favorite, Spider-Man. So with that being said, let's make it happen. better to start off with for breakfast and to kick this challenge off than Captain America. After all, he was the first Avenger. Captain America always striked me as a breakfast person anyway. Especially being from the 1940s, I'm sure they had amazing breakfast. Plus, Chris Evans, the actor who plays Captain America, was born in Boston, which is known for having some really good breakfast. Plus, Captain America himself is from New York, which is also known for having some really good breakfast. So I thought it was something fun and creative for this first meal, so let's get right into that. This is E. Polici, and it is the best rated breakfast in the UK. Why am I in the UK right now and not trying a traditional US breakfast? Well, I figured based on the ending of Avengers Endgame and Captain America's love for Peggy, this would definitely be something Captain America eats with her. Plus, it's extremely unexpected. The vibe in here is fantastic. The owner, Nev, is super friendly and kind. A really nice guy, and I had the pleasure of meeting him. So, why you just like Spider-Man? So, here comes our food. Yeah, this is incredible. This looks absolutely delicious. I have the full English breakfast here and decided to start with the beans first. As someone who grew up in an American household like Captain America, I have never had beans as part of my breakfast. They looked great, but I was unsure what to expect. However, it was unlike anything I could have guessed. I have never had beans this savory before, and they are super tasty and go really well with this breakfast, surprisingly. Next up was the eggs and bread. The eggs on top of the bread is wonderful. The egg is a bit runny, which I like, and it helps to create this very savory combination when paired with the bread. Next up was the sauce sausage, which was tasty and flavorful as well. With full flavor, this type of breakfast is the type that'll make you want to sleep right after. It is comfort food. Now, let's talk about these tomatoes. It is a full tomato that has been charred, and let me tell you, that makes all the difference. This was my first time having a charred tomato, and it did not disappoint. The bacon is crispier than some of the ones I've had back home, and it is certainly very tasty and flavorful as well. Finally, the mushrooms. I have to admit, I'm not the biggest fan of mushrooms. However, I I enjoyed these. The mushrooms have definitely been cooked for a longer time, which allows them to have a crispier texture on the outside and have a nice charred flavor. Oh yeah, and Ned, the owner, gave me some of his mom's famous banana dessert on the house. No, yeah, it's really good. It's oh, my you bread pudding. Oh, you it's still thank, you. thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, that'll be wonderful. Thank you very much. That made me almost fall asleep right there with how good it was. That was quite possibly one of the best things I ever had. Thank you so much, Nev. It was a pleasure meeting you. And if any of you get the chance, go check out Eat Pleachies. What a way to kick off this video. Let's go to lunch now. So now it's finally time for lunch, and I had a lot of fun deciding what hero I should pick for lunch. I decided on Robert Downey Jr., or rather, I should say Iron Man. And what's interesting about Iron Man, Iron Man likes a wide range of different foods. Cheeseburger, cheeseburgers, fries, donuts, all of it, you name it. Which is interesting because he's a billionaire and he can have whatever food he wants. All these foods look amazing and I want to try them all. So the hardest part is actually picking which I should try. But I decide on shawarma because of its famous scene from the Avengers movie. Fun fact for you all, did you know that the actual shawarma place that they filmed in was not even anywhere to be located in New York? It was actually in Los Angeles where they filmed it. And also, if you look at Captain America, that isn't Chris Evans, that is his stunt double. It was filmed last minute right after the world premiere. That's really interesting. All right, so I'm in the car now. I ran out of webs. I'm taking the car as transportation. Also, the train is very expensive in New York City, but we have our food here, which is the shawarma, which is very interesting. It's in the shape of a, a trapezoid, so let's give it a try. This is how it looks on the inside. I've never had shawarma in New York City, so let's give it a try. Okay, that was not what I expected at all. It was okay. The shawarma in the movie looked pretty good that the Avengers ate, and I'm sure there's a bunch of other shawarma spots across New York City. But I decided to go to another shawarma spot in New York City that looks pretty good. Mr. Stark, you will not be disappointed. Check this out. Here we have a normal shaped shawarma. It's kind of a tongue twister to say, actually. Shout out to Iron Man. Let's give this a try. 
Now, this may not look like much or traditional shawarma that you may see in many of these Middle Eastern restaurants, but I promise you, the taste is certainly there. The meat is so tender, it's so warm and fresh, and all the ingredients are really flavorful. In my opinion, I think Tony Stark has very good taste in food. So, with that being said, let's move on to dinner. All right, so next up on our roster for dinner, of course, is Spider-Man. As you can tell, it's my all-time favorite superhero ever. I absolutely loved him as a kid, and I grew up watching the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. Spider-Man deserves the utmost respect. I'm sure he treats himself to some good food. Actually, it's probably struggle meals. And what's interesting is that's what's dictating our dinner for today. Because right behind me, we have Joe's Pizza, which is from the original Spider-Man movies. What better than pizza to start off for dinner? Also, as I grew up, I watched the animated series and really anything Spider-Man. I played all the games. In fact, let me know down below which Spider-Man game is your favorite. For me personally, I love Webs of Shadows and Spider-Man Shattered Conventions. Those two are my all-time favorite Spider-Man games ever. Like every kid or adult who loves Spider-Man, I may or may not have tried to climb the walls as a kid. So we are keeping it simple. And I think pizza is the way to go for this. Obviously New York is known for pizza. There's literally a pizza place on every block. Plus Spider-Man has seen eating pizza tons of time. It's quick, easy, and cheap. And of course it's not messy for the cost. For someone always on the go, I think that's perfect. Without further ado, Let's get into dinner. So I made my way towards Joe's and ended up waiting in a line. And it was quite a long line. So we're here, but we're waiting in line. Hopefully it goes by quick, because I'm pretty hungry. After a little while, I finally made my way inside. I've never been here before, so I felt a bit nostalgic in a weird way. I think I'm about 20 years late for the job. I remember seeing this when I was a kid, on uh, the movie and stuff like that. Never thought I'd be coming here to eat, <laughs> let alone in a costume. They have a lot of good pizza here too, a whole variety of different pizzas. All their pizza looked amazing amazing though, and that made me even hungrier. The workers seem to really enjoy my Spider-Man cosplay and were incredibly friendly. Spider! 20 years late. Well, uh, yeah, after 20 years. So I placed my order, and a couple minutes later, just like that, it was finished. We got the pizza, this box is huge, I got a full pie. Go eat some of this, I'm starving. Now it was time to head back to my fancy setup to eat this pizza, and just look how amazing it looks. All right, so it doesn't get more budget meal, rather, it doesn't get more New York City than this. Eating a whole pie of pizza in the back of the trunk. So this looks pretty good so i'm gonna try it and yeah well i'm gonna eat some of it and let you know what i think of it so again this is a spider-man themed meal for today all right so let's give this a try i don't want to mess up the costume i know spider-man has detachable gloves but i don't have that luxury so it looks pretty good <laughs> You know, after eating pizza, I can understand why after a long day's work, Spider-Man comes and gets pizza. This is fantastic. Is there anything crazy? No, but it's pretty good. I, I like it. I'm in the car right now on the way to the next destination. Right now I'm tearing up this pizza. I'm trying this pizza in the back. This is probably a very rare seeing Spider-Man in the back of a car eating pizza in New York City as well, specifically in Manhattan. But nevertheless, here we are. Video in New York City without going to a bodega, so that's where we're at. Can't forget the five. What a better way to end off today with dessert. And as I said, there's always room for dessert. Of course, that brings us to our final hero of today, which is the Hulk. I figure the Hulk eats a lot anyway, so why not go for dessert? To be honest, the Hulk kind of scares me. It looks like he's one bad attitude from being an Avengers level threat. Or taking out the Avengers themselves. I calculated exactly how many calories the Hulk can eat a day, and well, it's a lot, considering he's incredibly strong and has a healing factor. He's roughly supposed to eat 20 calories per pound of body weight. This puts him around 28,000 calories per day, which of course, I can't eat that, or around 22 large combo Big Mac meals per day, including a regular coat. I think I'd be in the ER after eating all those calories. So I came up with something fun instead, that brings us to Schmackers, so let's get some cookies. I absolutely love Schmackers. They have some of the best cookies I've ever had in New York City. They have all sorts of cookies. I've been coming here for a few years now, and I'm super excited to try a few cookies for dessert. So let's see which ones I picked out. After a long day of saving the city, we have our cookies here. I got six different ones. I don't know if I'm gonna try all of them. Probably not, but I'm gonna try some of my favorites. I've been here before a long time ago, and all the cookies are really fantastic. So first up, we have the confetti, which is one of my personal favorites. Let's see if it's as good as I remember. still as good as I remember. I think this is well worth it. So now we have some sweet food for you guys. Next up, we have their classic chocolate chip. Well, let's give this one a try as well. 
This is a really good cookie. It's very buttery, very chocolatey, and fantastic all around. We're gonna finish the rest of them momentarily. So as I said, I wanted to do something fun and interesting. So we got a second cookie place for us today, which is one of New York City's most famous cookie spots, which is Levain Bakery right behind me. So let's get some cookies for our final dessert, which is Hulk's. Let's make it happen. We just left Levain and I have the cookies right here, so let's give one of them a try. We have all different types, ranging from oatmeal raisin, chocolate chip, and Rocky Road. This one I've never had before. This is Rocky Road. It's relatively new. Never had it, so let's give it a try. It's very marshmallowy. It's like s'mores. It's really good. It's very rich. I thoroughly enjoy it. Let's continue to try the rest of these and the rest of the cookies that we have. Of all these desserts, we're starring in Spider-Man Far From a Salad. The next one we have here is called the Blueberry Cobbler Cookie. And it looks pretty good, actually. This is the front side of it, back side. Let's give it a try. I've never had this one before. I actually like that one. That one's very soft and it's not too sugary, which is good. It also tastes like they have a bit of an oatmeal flavor in there. You don't get a very overpowering sense of blueberry. For the Hulk, you'll probably finish the whole thing. Am I gonna finish the whole thing? We'll see. Let me know down below what is your favorite cookie in general. Next up, we have peanut butter. I like peanut butter actually a lot, so let's give peanut butter a try and let's see how it tastes. That's actually very good too. It's in between very strong and very light peanut butter. So if you really like peanut butter, get this. Very good cookie, I enjoy it. Next up, we have a version exclusive cookie that they sell. It seems like a chocolate based cookie. And the reason that there's a bite in this is it seems like my family got to this one before me. Let's still give it a try. Hmm, oh, that's interesting. It has like a nutty flavor to it, of course, with chocolate. I'll be honest with you, I have no idea what exactly the flavor is supposed to be. I'm not a huge chocolate guy, but it's not bad. Next up, we have another cookie from Levain, which I've had this before, and this is probably my favorite cookie to get from Levain. It's the oatmeal raisin cookie, which it's a very big cookie. So let's give this a try. What the? Yep. Still my favorite cookie, it's very good. Whew, man, that is a lot of food today and a lot of sweets, that's for sure. I think Spider-Man's tapped out. All right, everyone, with that being said, that concludes all the foods that I tried today for today's 24-hour Marvel video. I hope you all enjoyed the video as much as I enjoy making them. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video if you thoroughly enjoy it. And I'll see you all soon. Peace.